And uh, look at the Dakota Magic Casino. Those flags really, uh, well, they're flapping in those winds over 20 miles per hour right now. A cold north wind blowing. Hey, Luther family for uh, sponsoring our Weather Kid program. And tonight, Brenna DeVries joins me. Brenna, step out here. How old are you? I am 10 years old. Now, you said fourth grade, right? Yeah. Do you guys study weather in fourth grade? Yes. Oh, uh, is that one of your favorite subjects? No. <laughs> oh, okay. Well, that's okay. Well, we'll talk about weather in a bit. What is your favorite subject? Um, social studies. Super. Anybody you want to say hi to real quick? Uh, my teacher, Miss Norby, who taught me all the science stuff, and Ooh. my friend, Ellen. Well, Hutch likes science. Give everybody a wave out there, and let's go ahead and tell folks at home what, the, what conditions are going on right now outdoors in Fargo. What's the temperature? Um, 20. 21 degrees. 21 degrees. What's it feel like outside? Six degrees. That's because of all the wind. How fast is that wind blowing right now? Um, 18 miles per hour. Very good. Now, here's a look at temperatures elsewhere. I want you to point out a couple of temperatures okay. off to the west. Um, in Aberdeen, it's 31. Good, good. And in Jamestown, it's 24. Uh-huh. And... In Wapaton, it's 27. Very good. Now let's check over into Minnesota as we sneak over to this side of the map. Now we can see all of Minnesota. Why don't you point out one or two temperatures there? Um, in Bemidji, it's 28. Good. And... How about Grand Forks? Um, Grand Forks, it's 18. Yeah, so we have temperatures, the coolest air, right in Cavalier and Grand Forks, 18 degrees. A little warmer down to the south, but it isn't warm for anyone with these winds. What's all this white stuff we see on um, the map? Clouds. Some clouds. Now, what's going on with the clouds through the valley right now? What do you see changing? Um, well, they're, it's, they're spreading out. Yeah, kind of decreasing as we head into the late night hours. And here is a look at some blue stuff. What is that? Um, that's snow. A little bit of snow showing up there not far from the Duluth area. So that's the snow shower activity that was with northern parts of the valley first thing this morning. Here's your forecast this evening as we go toward the evening. Why don't you point out a couple temperatures that they can expect by 10 o'clock? Um, in, in general, what do yeah. we know about our temperatures tonight well, they're at 10? All mostly in the teens. Mostly in the teens, that's right. And as we head through the overnight, it gets really cold out there. Tell everybody what they can expect first thing in the morning. Well, they could probably expect colder temperatures right single digits even and uh does it look really cloudy just a little um, cloudy. just a little cl cloudy all right a little bit cloudy but mostly sunny and chilly now as we go through the first part of the day we're going to notice a south wind it'll be fairly light what about this uh lunchtime what does it look like what changes um it gets a little more cloudy we add clouds into the mix because those south winds are pumping in uh, well air with more humidity in it and by the afternoon uh, temperatures won't be too cold, but we will have a chance for a few flakes of snow in the forecast here and there. All in all, though, not too bad, just a few flakes of snow, and temperatures tomorrow will be colder than today. Here is a look at the bus stop forecast first thing in the morning. Why don't you tell your classmates what they can expect in the morning? Um, uh, a six mile per hour wind and Good. it's about seven Seven degrees. Yeah, pretty chilly, right? Now, how about after school? What does it look like? It's 21 degrees and 13 miles per hour wind. Okay, very good. And is 13 mile per hour wind a lot of wind? Should you use lots of hairspray or wear a hat? Um, wear a hat because it's cold out. That's but. right. <laughs> exactly. All right, now let's take a look at temperatures elsewhere. For your afternoon on Friday, out to the east, why don't you point out one or two temperatures for us? Well, um, in Fergus Falls, it's 21. Excellent work. And in Valley City, it's 23. Very good. So a lot of 20s across the area tomorrow. Take a look at this picture. It looks like a cold scene out there. Uh, Debbie sending this one in from Foston at the elevator. Now, let's talk about this seven-day forecast because we have a lot to tell everybody about. First and foremost... Uh, why do you suppose we have that logo on there? Um, Big bison, bison game? game? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. And uh, what about the temperature on Saturday? Um, on Saturday, um, it has um, a chance of snow. It's 32. Very good. And, um, and then as we go into Sunday, what changes? So 32 Saturday. How about Sunday? Um, it gets a little colder. It's 21. Yeah, 
North winds, this is when the cold, cold air starts moving in. And by Monday, does it look fun to play outside? I know, five degrees. <laughs> right, and it does look like we'll see some snow punching in as well by Monday morning. And it could be measurable, that cold, fluffy kind of snow. Not good for making snowballs or snowmen. Uh. <laughs> now, how about the, the midweek forecast? What um, do you think about these morning temperatures down here? Um, see, how, see how low they're getting? Yes, they're getting very low. They're getting very low. Um, <laughs> Um, what do you they think about those? are under zero, so really cold to play outside. <laughs> really cold to play outside. In fact, dangerously cold. Brenna, follow me over here. You did outstanding. As we are looking at temperatures that will be 50 degrees colder on Wednesday morning than they will be on Saturday afternoon. So uh, do you like playing outside when it's that cold? No. No, neither do I. I definitely want to stay in by the fireplace. You're a natural. Good job. <laughs> Absolutely. Very good. I hope you had a good time. Was it yes. easy? Uh, it was fun. It was fun, yeah, yes. Yeah, there you go. Best answer. <laughs> oh, yeah, right? I like that answer.